Hey everyone and welcome to yet another episode of the Boost Your Biology podcast. I'm your host Lucas and today we're going to be talking about a very novel ingredient that I've researched quite a lot um, and actually had the privilege of talking about it alongside uh, Sean Wells last week on the podcast and what I'm here to talk to you guys about today is actually a, an endogenous chemical that the body uh, produces um, following exercise. So this particular chemical is called L-Baba. It's, uh, it's, it's spelled, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a weird spelling um, molecule. It's obviously it sounds weird when you, when you, you know, pronounce it. It's spelled B-A-I-B-A. Um, and so the reason why this particular molecule sort of piqued my interest was the fact that it was able to induce what is known as the bay the beijing of um, white adipose tissue to um, brown fat so i want to really just break down more about this particular uh, molecule and also give you guys a bit more of an explanation into some of the potential ergogenic benefits and also um, how it can be used in some potential clinical applications and um, some sports performance benefits. So I'll quickly run through what I've um, jotted down from my preliminary research. So to put it simply, l is known as an exercise-induced muscle factor. So it's actually formed from the breakdown of um, one of the BCAAs known as L-valine, and I'm sure many of you will be familiar with uh, L-valine, which is one of the um, BCAAs. So L-baba is actually a metabolite of um, L-valine. So at least we know from you know we've we've, we've conducted a lot of research on uh, L-valine, but it was. It was cool to see that they, you know, researchers identified that this particular molecule, albaba, was it's actually used as a signaling molecule uh, in the body. So I sort of want to break down. I, want, I don't want to get too uh, technical in terms of um, the mechanisms, but more about how it can be used <clears throat> for the everyday person to improve metabolic health and even potentially help with things like insulin sensitivity, um, you know, blood sugar regulation, potentially dropping body fat um, and improving muscle, uh, muscle growth and body composition. So I've jotted down a few notes here in terms of how uh, L baba appears to work. So what we know is that this particular molecule is produced during, um, is during exercise. So it's actually every time we, um, you know, contract our muscles, this particular molecule is actually released um, and is actually a signaling molecule to really trigger a lot of other downstream positive effects. And in fact, it wouldn't surprise me if this particular molecule is is responsible for a lot of the uh, beneficial effects of exercise, you know, in terms of I mean, when we look at exercise, we know that it's affecting, you know, blood pressure in terms of stabilizing blood pressure long term. It's going to be having a positive effect on, you know, insulin sensitivity, both peripherally and even in the, in the liver as well. We know that uh, exercise can upregulate various um, antioxidant pathways. So, one of which is glutathione. And I know a lot of you will be familiar with glutathione. It's the, the body's master antioxidant. So what's interesting about l is that if we look deeply into some of the secondary, um, you know, secondary downstream metabolites and other effects that it has, it's, it's interesting to see how now we're able to isolate this particular molecule. And in fact, we're able to use it in supplementation form. And that's what um, the company NNB Nutrition, which I've listed on my website. So for those who've just joined in, 
this particular molecule that I'm talking about is known as an exercise mimetic. Um, it potentially, you know, uh, replicates a lot of the benefits of exercise in terms of, you know, increasing brown fat, uh, which we know is extremely beneficial for um, regulating metabolism and also preventing a lot of the the negative effects of obesity and metabolic metabolic disease and things like that. So the reason why they consider it exercise in a pill is based on the fact that it has the following um, key effects. So L-Baber has been shown to um, affect the energy storage capacity of the liver. So it's basically acting on PPAR alpha, um, which is a, it's an enzyme in the liver that regulates uh, general metabolism and also um, fat oxidation and even glucose um, metabolism. So what they found was L-Baba, spell L-B-A-I-B-A, -A, um, protects against fat gain in mice. Um, that's with the mouse that have partial uh, leptin deficiency. It's also been shown to increase plasma um, beta hydroxybutyrate. And for those listening in who have either researched um, ketones, will know that um, beta hydroxybutyrate is a very effective way to exogenously increase your ketone levels. And I'm sure many people have had experience with, you know, entering into ketosis. Um, which we know has a lot of other benefits in terms of uh, brain health and giving you that mental clarity. Um, so this molecule may in fact influence, um, you know, mental, mental clarity and cognition and things like that. So I found that really interesting that an endogenous exercise mimetic is able to bump up the levels of beta hydroxybutyrate, which is really, really cool. Um, the other benefit that they found in the mouse studies were that it increases or well, improves glucose tolerance um, and it also improves insulin sensitivity, um, which is awesome. And then we've also found that um, this particular molecule has been shown to increase mitochondrial function um, and improve mitochondrial biogenesis, which is basically increasing the the energy um facility and, and infrastructure of the actual of all cells in the body so that's quite an interesting benefit um from l baber so for those of you who are interested in learning more about um l baber i would i'll be linking that in the um, description on this video so you can learn more about what i'm talking about but just to put it very simply, I definitely think that this is going to be a very, uh, a very novel and very um, prominent compound that will be used in the future for protecting against metabolic disease and, and improving general um, metabolic health. So the key points you need to understand is that l supports the production of brown fat, so brown adipose tissue which is like an energy producing uh, fat, you know, in increases warmth. It generates, you know, generates heat and burns calories. Um, so that's definitely one positive. Um, so yeah, in terms of, in terms of other compounds that do this, we know that bitter melon can do the same thing. Um, curcumin has also been shown to affect um, white fat to brown fat, at least in rodent studies. So the other unique property about l is that it helps with uh, leptin deficiency. So that's another condition that a lot of people struggle with where um, their basic uh, hunger and hunger signaling hormones and things like that are actually disrupted. And, you know, that's when people get hangry and frustrated and grumpy when they can't, um, when they don't eat, you know, when they skip a meal and things like that. So, um, the question is, does l you know, stop this negative cycle? Does it help with um, preventing against leptin deficiency? Um, so then 
I already mentioned that El Baba does support, um, you know, uh, the ketogenic um, pathway. So it helps with increasing endogenous uh, ketone production, which is really awesome in terms of like that mental clarity. And there's even been multiple studies suggesting that exogenous ketones can support exercise performance, even when fed with sufficient carbohydrates, which was really, really impressive. Um, so yeah, some of the preliminary studies are really profound. Um, there's studies done on high fat diets where El Baber was able to counteract and prevent some of the negative effects of a high fat diet, which is really cool. Improving glucose tolerance, um, protecting against renal fibrosis in mice, which was great for kidney health. Um, and in terms of a dosage recommendation, obviously this is not medical advice, but the suggested dosage range for El Baber is between 250 milligrams to 500 milligrams once or twice a day. Um, and this is based off what we found in rat studies. Uh, and in terms of the LD50, um, the LD50 for El Baber is ridiculously high, um, which is always a good um, indicator of, I guess, uh, the safety of a particular compound. There, Obviously, it's still important that we conduct human clinical trials, but based on the preliminary research in these uh, rat studies, it appears that El Baber definitely you know, has a very wide safety margin. So just to wrap up, uh, in terms of supplementation and what El Baber may be able to offer, and the reason why I'm, I'm dedicating an entire podcast to this compound, um, and I'll be doing another one soon on a very similar compound, um, is because this is what El Baber may be, may be able to potentially offer somebody who's wanting to get healthy. So I'll just quickly summarize. So El Baber improves brown fat so increasing brown fat in the body which is a good type of fat that we need to help with um, generating heat and burning um, ex burning calories the next benefit is that it helps with insulin sensitivity both peripherally and um, hepatic insulin resistance it also has been shown to um, support leptin like issues with leptin um, in, uh, sensitivity and things like that and just in in general it, it's it appears to mimic a lot of the benefits of exercise because it really is a signaling molecule of course you know as a naturopath i don't i always encourage like um doing exercise first and you know getting all the other areas of your life in check such as your diet and sleep and stress and things like that but El Baber can be a very useful compound to I guess for those who maybe are injured or they can't exercise or they're looking for something just to improve overall metabolic health, like, you know, coenzyme Q10, like um, various herbs, things like curcumin, things like gymnema, all of these glucose disposal agents, it appears that El Baber may be another tool that we can use to promote metabolic health um, and in general support uh, overall healthy aging. So for those listening in who want to know more about this particular exercise mimetic, um, I'll be linking an article that I wrote on my website, which you can check out. It's called L. The molecule that we're talking about is called L-B-A-I-B-A. -A -A. Um, and if anyone wants to purchase this particular uh, exercise mimetic, or potential ergogenic aid, they can check it out on my website. Just search El Baber Ergogenic Health. I'll be linking that in the show notes. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about potential benefits of supplementing with El Baber.